Well, greetings, everybody. This is Jim Hovland, your Edina Mayor, and this is your Mayor's Minute for Wednesday, August 18th, 2021. Last week, federal health authorities authorized a third dose of the COVID-19 vaccine for those people that are immunocompromised. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention and the Food and Drug Administration made clear they authorized a third dose, not a booster, because the shots are considered part of the primary vaccine series. According to officials, data increasingly show that some people with compromised immune systems do not get the full benefit after just two doses. The CDC has a very narrow definition of who is immunocompromised. It includes people undergoing treatment for solid tumors or blood cancers, organ transplant patients, including those who have gotten a stem cell transplant within the past two years, and people with advanced or untreated HIV. There's a big distinction between a booster dose for the general public and a third dose for people with moderate and severely compromised immune systems. As you're hearing today, there is discussion about boosters for the fall. We still have a lot to learn about this process, so stay tuned for more information on that issue. As we've done throughout the pandemic, the city and our partners at Bloomington Public Health will continue to rely on guidance from the CDC and the Minnesota Department of Health to inform our response to COVID-19. When we have more guidance, we'll share it with you on the city's website at edinamn.gov slash coronavirus. In the meantime, continue to follow CDC guidance and wear a mask in indoor public settings as an added layer of protection. We're doing that at City Hall, and I think I see more and more people doing it other places in uh, privately owned buildings as well. This is Jim Hovland, and that's your Mayor's Minute. We look forward to talking to you next week.